Think about all the information we send and receive online, messages, emails, and more. Keeping that information safe is super important. Now, imagine a cool new technology that can make our communication so secure that even super smart tech can't break into it. This isn't something from a movie, it's real, and it's called quantum cryptography. In this video, we're diving into this exciting technology that's changing how we keep our information safe online. It's like a superhero for data protection, and it's about to reshape the way we think about security. The Fascinating Story of Quantum Cryptography Before we start talking about how quantum cryptography actually works and how it's changing the world, let's go down memory lane and discover the fascinating story of how quantum cryptography came to be. The journey of quantum cryptography is like an exciting adventure that starts with tiny particles doing strange things. A long time ago, smart people like Albert Einstein and Niels Bohr looked at these tiny particles and found out they act in very weird ways. This helped create a field called quantum mechanics. In the 1970s, some clever scientists thought about using these weird particle behaviors to make secret codes. They called this quantum key distribution, or QKD. The concept of the QKD is like having a special secret code only you and your friend can understand. In the 1980s, David Deutsch talked about making a computer that's super fast using the quantum concept. This got everyone interested in using quantum for important things like safe talking. And in 1984, Charles Bennett and Gilles Brassard made something called the BB-84. The BB-84 was almost like a magical trick that uses particles to make secret keys. These keys help keep messages safe from unauthorized people trying to access them. In 1992, some scientists tested this magic trick and it worked. This was a huge step from just talking about it to making it real. From the 1990s to the 2000s, lots of people started using the BB-84 concept to keep secrets safe. They made special machines that used quantum to make keys. And then in 2016, China launched a satellite to test if we can use quantum cryptography to talk securely over really long distances. And the rest, as they say, became history. Now, quantum cryptography isn't just for secret messages. It's helping make safe ways to vote, protect money, and even keep digital assets like Bitcoin secure. Traditional Cryptography Vulnerabilities Now, let's talk about the traditional ways we used to keep our messages encrypted and safe, and also its vulnerabilities. The traditional way of cryptography is kind of like having a secret code that only you and your friend understand. But there's a twist. As technology gets really smart, it's becoming easier for super smart computers to figure out these secret codes. This is a bit worrisome, because the things we want to keep private might not be so safe anymore. Think of it like having a locked box, but someone figured out a way to open it without a key. That's not good news for the things we want to keep secret and secure online, right? A traditional ways of protecting our messages, files, and assets are like doors that these super smart computers are getting better at opening. So we're in need of a stronger way to guard them from these super smart machines. Quantum Cryptography – The Shield Against AI Threats You see, cryptography is the strongest link in the chain of data security. And quantum cryptography has the potential to encrypt data for longer periods than classical, traditional cryptography. Quantum cryptography uses the special rules that these particles follow to create a super strong code. It's like trying to solve a puzzle that's impossible for the smartest computers to crack. The reason? Quantum cryptography's code is so unique that any attempt to break it would change the particle's behavior. And guess what? we'd know if someone's trying to break in. It's like having an alarm that goes off if someone even touches the lock. This means that even as AI gets more powerful, it can't break through the unbreakable code of quantum cryptography. So, when we talk about quantum cryptography being a shield, we mean it's our best defense against the new challenges that come with AI. 
Our messages and data become like secrets locked away in a super secure vault that only the magic of quantum particles can open. Unlike traditional encryption methods that rely on complex mathematical algorithms, quantum cryptography is grounded in the laws of physics. This ensures that even the most potent AI algorithms, no matter how sophisticated, cannot decipher the encrypted messages without leaving an unmistakable trace of their intrusion. Let's picture this. You're sending a secret message to a friend using quantum cryptography. Even if an AI tries to sneak in and listen, the quantum particles will immediately alert you and your friend. It's like having a super secure line that's always on guard against unwanted eavesdroppers. The importance of quantum cryptography amplifies as AI-powered encryption breaking becomes a tangible threat. With AI learning to crack conventional codes at an alarming rate, quantum cryptography's resistance to AI decryption attempts is a game changer. It provides an invincible shield, ensuring that our data remains secure, regardless of the AI's capabilities. How does quantum cryptography work? Traditional cryptography is based on mathematical problems that can be solved by computers. But quantum computers, which are still in development, are expected to be able to break these codes. Quantum cryptography, on the other hand, is based on the laws of quantum mechanics, which are much more difficult to crack. There are two main types of quantum cryptography, quantum key distribution and quantum secure direct communication, also known as QSDC. QKD is used to distribute a secret key between two parties, which can then be used to encrypt and decrypt messages. QSDC is a more direct form of communication that does not require a secret key. QKD works by using quantum states, such as the polarization of light, to encode information. These quantum states are very fragile and can be easily destroyed by eavesdropping, which makes them ideal for secure communications. If an eavesdropper tries to intercept the quantum states, they will inevitably disturb them. This disturbance can be detected by the two parties, who can then abort the communication. QSDC is a newer form of quantum cryptography that does not require a secret key. It works by using quantum entanglement, which is a phenomenon that occurs when two particles are linked together in such a way that they share the same quantum state. Alice and Bob can use quantum entanglement to create a secure communication channel. Alice sends a quantum state to Bob, and Bob measures it. If the measurement results in a certain value, then Alice and Bob can be sure that no eavesdropper has intercepted the communication. Real-World Applications and Implications Now, let's explore the real-life applications of quantum cryptography, which was once a big science idea, but now is becoming something practical that can change how we secure information. Think about important messages, like government secrets or medical info. Quantum cryptography can lock them up, so no one else can understand them or even access them. This helps make sure secrets stay secret, even when they're sent far away. Regular locks that use traditional cryptography can be broken by smart computers. But with quantum cryptography, even the smartest computers can't penetrate through. Quantum cryptography can change how we handle money online. It can make sure that buying things and moving money is super safe. No more worrying about hacks and tricks. Even digital money like Bitcoin needs security. Quantum cryptography can help keep these cryptocurrencies safe from hackers. While quantum cryptography is exciting, it also brings up important questions. It can give us super secure communication, but it also means others might want to listen in. We need to find a balance between safety and our rights. Making quantum cryptography work needs a lot of different experts. Physicists, computer folks, math whizzes, they all need to join forces to make it awesome. Lots of countries, companies, and schools are spending time and money on quantum cryptography. They want to make it the best it can be. Although quantum key distribution is known for its strong security, putting it into everyday use comes with a set of challenges. One of these challenges is that the rate at which keys can be generated becomes limited as the distance over which the information needs to travel increases. However, researchers have been working hard to overcome this challenge. 
Recent studies have led to significant progress in finding solutions. In 2018, a new protocol called Twin Field QKD was introduced. The Twin Field QKD protocol is designed to handle situations where some of the information might be lost. It does this by using two fields, sort of like having a backup plan. If one field faces problems, the other field steps in to help. This way, even if a part of the message goes missing or gets weaker, the other field can still carry the information safely. In the end, quantum cryptography isn't just about ideas anymore. It's becoming a real part of our world. It's making sure our messages, money, and data stay safe in a world that's more connected than ever. But as we use this cool technology, we also need to think about the rules and challenges it brings. We're walking into a new chapter, where security and privacy are at the forefront. Quantum cryptography isn't just a tool, it's changing how we live and communicate. If you've made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you've received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.